Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. Millionaire entrepreneur Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. He's spending two million dollars. Spent two million dollars. Two million. Just to become 18 again. <laughs> French people. He, he's managed to reverse his biological age by five years. Five years. No, 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 no. Brian Johnson, just another billionaire trying to cheat death. <laughs> yes, this was me eight months ago, but now I'm investing 10K into Brian Johnson's blueprint. So today I'll share with you what I found out that made me change my mind. This video focuses on what blueprint really is about. You'll learn about Brian's philosophy, history and ambitions, all of which made me trust in his intentions. And in the end, I'll unveil my 10K Blueprint Challenge. So who is Brian Johnson? Known as the founder of Braintree Venmo, he sold his company to PayPal for an impressive 800 million back in 2013. Since then, Brian has focused on impacting the world through investments in life science startups, his neuroimaging startup Kernel, and of course, his latest endeavor, Blueprint. Blueprint charts Brian's journey as one of a self-proclaimed rejuvenation athlete, aiming to stop his aging process. His regimen includes regular tests, daily personalized supplements. I don't know how many pills in here. I think last time we reported it was something like over 50, maybe 60. That looks like a lot more. Hormone therapy, a monitored diet, rigorous exercise, and all is overseen by a team of over 30 doctors led by this guy. You need the specialist guidance to do that, really. And a chef. Brian's extreme approach, his claim to have reversed his age by plus five years, and the fact that you look like a Lord of the Rings elf. <laughs> and all have gained massive public attention, negative as well as positive. However, with strong social media presence, it seems Brian actively seeks the spotlight. What drives Brian to invest so much time and money into this endeavor? Brian, what are your intentions with this? And most important of all, can we trust them? To answer those questions, let's look at the Blueprint website, where right at the start, it reveals its true, easily overlooked essence. On the surface, Blueprint may seem something about health, wellness and aging. It's really a system to make tomorrow better for you, me, the planet and our shared future with AI. Okay, that sounds pretty big. And what he's basically saying is, Nice you're here for the story of me trying to cheat aging, but I really have a much bigger vision and plan for this. And AI plays a huge role in it. But this is still pretty vague, unfortunately. And to unpack it, we need to dive into the three main components of Blueprint. The system, Brian's history and ambitions, and Brian's vision of the future. If you look beyond the longevity aspect, Blueprint seems to be a set of principles and procedures according to which Brian believes to create a better future. There are four Blueprint principles starting with self-destructive behavior is kinda insane, empower your body to speak for itself, the aspirations we need are beyond our imagination, look in the darkness to avoid being blinded by the light. Now, when you listen to Brian's podcasts, watch his videos and read his blog posts, it really sounds like principle number one was the key realization it took for him to build a system that produces the determination and diligence necessary to stick to the super strict blueprint procedures. And in turn, those procedures are determined by principle number two. But what does that even mean? Let me explain. So first and foremost, it looks to me like his personal journey has been one of mental health and optimization. When my mind was able to do what it wanted and when it wanted, it continuously engaged in self-destructive behavior. This is principle number one. The metaphor he uses here is that of the many selves and evening Brian, who would engage in extensive late night snacking binges that led to overweight, bad sleep and even worse mood and consequently pulled down all the other Brian's. So Brian built a system that is blueprint that cancelled his mind's decision authority and is solely driven through solid science and data insights. The only thing it took for him was to commit 100% to whatever his algorithm is suggesting. This is what he calls his 
Autonomous Self. He writes, This automation and elimination of self-destructive behaviors allows you to improve at the rate which you can automate important functions without thinking about them. In this case, your health. Now this reminded me a lot of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. If you haven't heard of it, here a little recap. Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs is a pyramid outlining human motivations. As one level is met, the next becomes the focus, progressing from basic needs like food, water and safety to love and belonging, esteem and culminating in higher needs like self-actualization. Usually, we need to spend most of our time on fulfilling the lower level needs. That's why it's depicted as a pyramid. Through his autonomous self, Brian utilizes or aims to utilize technological advancements, especially AI and automation, to efficiently satisfy the lower levels of the pyramid, enabling him to spend a larger part of his time and energy on the higher levels. Mm, but to what end? What would you improve with the extra time and energy from automating your health? We'll find the answers in principles 3 and 4 which neatly intertwine with Brian's history, ambition and future vision. Brian's life story is built upon several key facts and events that formed his ambitions. For your entertainment, let's keep using the narrative of the many selves. He grew up in a strict religious community that highly restricted his worldview. When you grow up in a fishbowl, you don't realize you're in a fishbowl and then you realize that you learn there's a whole bunch of other fishbowls in the world. This led him to question authoritative figures and the world he grew up in. Then, after what seems like a decade-long struggle, he ultimately reshaped his views and realities. And Mormon Brian's push ultimately resulted in Outside the Box Brian and has shaped principle number four. I mean, just look at this tweet. As a child, no one taught me that many of life's most important learnings would be found in the counterintuitive inverse and darkness. These were naughty places to explore, I was told. Hold on, no, 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 hold on. Not CBD, Brian, CBT, Brian. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, Brian. Studying this form of therapy, he found out that he could not trust his mind, which in turn ignited his narrative of self-destructive behavior and his desire to find a way to tame his mind. When I just studied cognitive behavioral therapy and I learned that my own mind was a disaster and my, and my biases and my own hypocritical thinking, my irrationality, that in any given moment, my mind was spinning up some story of some variety and I really couldn't trust the, the thoughts that came in default because I hadn't trained my brain yet. Probably one of the good things that his religious upbringing produced was a two-year mission in Ecuador for the Mormon church as an 18-year-old. Living among extreme poverty and seeing all the misery, he realized the best thing to do with his life would be to become an entrepreneur. I'll make a whole bunch of money by the age of 30. And then, well, with that money, I'll go out and do something useful for the world. Being inspired by reading a lot of autobiographies, just like that of Benjamin Franklin, led him to the insight that great minds always have strived to achieve the seemingly impossible by committing to it publicly full time. He often rephrases this quote. So talent is the ability to hit the target no one else can. Genius hits the target no one else can see. This is what he calls zeroth principle thinking, which really is the result of principle number three. The aspirations we need are beyond our imaginations. It seems he's really trying to achieve something genius. Definitely some big ambitions, Brian. At one point after he sold his company, Brian learned to fly a plane. <laughs> yes, like so many billionaires, huh? While flying, he realized the autopilot is much better than any human at keeping the plane steady. Which made him think. That's amazing. What is it, would it be possible if I could build an autopilot for Brian? That's amazing. And so the idea of the autonomous self was born. Ah, and I nearly forgot the most important Brian, the one who enjoys this video, subscribes and presses the like button. 
Now all those Brian's and probably many more resulted in Blueprint Brian and formed his vision of the future. In Brian's optimal future, humans can be free from cognitive biases, highly rational and optimized to maximize their creative, emotional, intellectual and physical potentials. All because we figured out how to improve ourselves just as well and fast as the technologies we built. In this case, primarily AI. In Brian's Medium post, A Plan for Humanity, he makes the compelling argument that we must radically change our economic and political systems. Because currently, those systems drive maximizing monetary returns, fixing short-term problems and becoming the slaves of our technologies. Instead, we should become legal owners of our data. Our systems should incentivize individual human improvement as well as solving what he calls game over problems, such as climate change or nuclear war. And Blueprint is Brian's personal attempt at living this future today. His autonomous self lets him hand off most critical decisions around his physical needs to his AI so that he frees up as much time as possible to engage in zero principle thinking in order to solve game over problems. So essentially when we look at Maslow's pyramid again, we can say Brian envisions a future where the pyramid is flipped upside down and would look like this. Because AI and automation take care of the lower levels of the pyramid, we can focus the larger part of our time and energy on the higher levels, all in order to maximize human potential through zeroth principle thinking. Now, what's the game over problem Brian wants to solve with all this extra time and energy? It's that we are not future ready nor future literate. It's that we become slaves of our smartphones. Companies use your data to turn you into a profit maximizing machine for them. Depression rates are exponentially rising and as is the world outlook looks pretty grim. Is we humans are dangerously at each other's throats. It's that as a species we seem to be currently geared to drive ourselves to extinction and behind it all are our own dysfunctional minds. Yes, Brian believes that the mind is behind all the misery in this world. And I must say, I agree. You can point to the mind on our eagerness, willingness, and almost non-negotiable disposition of letting our self-destructive minds be in charge. So now we can finally answer what Blueprint really is about. In my honest opinion, Brian intends Three things, mastery over the mind, making meaning for the world, and three, as he states, his primary objective with Blueprint is to explore the future of being human. Okay, so now that we have determined the intentions behind Blueprint, the only question that remains is, can we actually trust Brian Johnson? For my part, I have chosen to trust him and his intentions. But because everybody needs to decide on their own, here my personal assessment of the pros and cons. To keep this video exciting for you, I won't be going into all the details, but feel free to pause the video here or check out my Medium post linked below if you want to dive deeper. Do you trust Brian Johnson? I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments. Now, I want to mention that, of course, trust may change as new information arises. So here are a few things that I will be closely monitoring in Brian's journey. One, the further commercialization of Blueprint, his philanthropic efforts to make this accessible to the wider public, and last, his public communications and actions. Hey, didn't you want to invest some money into Blueprint? No. Before I tell you about my 10K plan to adopt Blueprint, let me add a few lessons I learned from studying Blueprint and Brian Johnson over the last couple of months. Brian's exact Blueprint is likely not yours nor mine. Blueprint is a system that needs and calls for your health journey to be personalized. And while I don't agree with all the thoughts Brian has or the measures he takes, I largely agree with him as to the problems that need to be addressed in this world. And to be frank, after all this research, I also believe that his intentions seem honest and good-hearted. So thank you, Brian. You have drawn a very compelling map to the fountain of youth. And as all of you might know from my previous videos, I am very passionate about the quest to find it. Unfortunately, there is one problem. What? Yes, my light just went out and that's not a problem I wanted to talk about. The problem that I wanted to mention is that adopting Blueprint 100% 
Brian style, currently takes over 2 million a year and a gigantic daily time invest. Not to speak of the commitment. But since I'm no millionaire, at least yet, and really just a normal dude with a big passion for longevity, we need to assess what's possible with my limited time and budget. Luckily, I did save a bit. Explorer, how much is in the chest? One sec, let me check. I think it's around 10k. 10k? Phew, that's not 2 million. But let's see how long it lasts. Starting today, I will design my very own blueprint, of course, deeply inspired by and rooted in Brian's. And this will be the 10k blueprint challenge. Now, the five rules are simple. Number one, let the 10k last as long as possible. Number two, automate as many health functions as I can. Number three, maximally slow my aging process. And number four, design a blueprint according to rule one, two and three. And five, vigorously follow the blueprint until the 10k are gone. Now, to start designing our own blueprint, we need to assess what we can and want to adopt from Brian. And then we need to make a plan. And if you want to find out how I designed my own 10K blueprint, then click this video here. If it's not there yet, check back in a bit because I'm still in the progress of designing it. I hope today's video was helpful to you. If so, please leave a like and feel free to subscribe if you want to tag along for my 10K blueprint journey.